What is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. I'm here to talk to you guys today about fixed wireless access. This is essentially cellular home internet. I think it's going to be a winner. I know a lot of people might disagree with me. You can go ahead and comment down below in the comment section if you feel that way, whether you agree or disagree. I think there's a couple of key factors that are going to make this thing a winner. Whether you like it or not, I think it's here to stay, and I think there is going to be some success in it. Let's talk about that in today's video. All that starts now. The two big entrants in cellular home internet and fixed wireless access, there's lots of regional ones and some smaller ones, but the two big ones are going to be T-Mobile home internet and then also Verizon home internet. And the reason those are going to be the two big ones is because those are the two national mobile network operators. They're just simply going to do fixed wireless access over their cellular networks on a national scale. Verizon is going to be doing it over 5G. Uh, with their millimeter wave ultra wideband, and they're also going to be adding C band later. So that's how they'll be doing that. They're also doing LTE. Uh, T Mobile's doing a combination of both. So they're kind of serving customers in a similar fashion. Now, the pricing could be kind of fluid as of right now. The T Mobile Home Internet's 50 bucks a month with auto pay. I think it's probably going to end up at 60 bucks. That's what the rumor is. It's been $60 for, uh, for that product and service before. So we've seen it's not unprecedented. I think Verizon is selling theirs for 80 a month. I think it's 70 on auto pay, and if you're a Verizon Wireless customer, they'll even give it to you for 50 bucks a month. That's all the 5G stuff. The LTE version, I think, is $60 per month with auto pay, and then 40 if you're a wireless customer. So that's kind of like where the price point is at. Anyways, in my opinion, it appears that the home internet, home broadband, has become an emerging market. It may sound weird because we've had home internet for a long time. You know, home internet has been going on for decades. But it's an emerging market now because of the demand and the need for home connectivity, home office, homeschooling, you know, all the stuff that goes on with a pandemic, people getting, you know, sent home to work for a while, or maybe you're doing, you know, some days at home, some days in the office, the need for that connectivity has become paramount. But really, the key thing here is the fact that home internet providers are pretty trash. Uh, it's very common for people to become disgruntled, unhappy, and pretty much pissed off with their home internet provider. Uh, it could be a lack of reliability, dependability, could be an issue with speeds, uh, maybe explosive pricing. A lot of things can happen when it comes to, you know, home internet services. And whenever, you know, customers get disgruntled, they'd like to be able to move to another provider to see if they could find something better for them. So another thing to consider is what the federal government is doing. There is currently under the Biden administration, an initiative and a program to provide funding for home broadband build outs. And this is where I think things become really interesting. It may be a situation where the providers, the home internet service providers, may expand their coverage footprints, may improve their infrastructure, and may kind of promote new entrants into home broadband options because the funding will be there. So what type of funding are we talking about? We're talking about billions and billions of dollars. It's like having a ginormous cake and everybody wants to get a piece. If the pandemic continues and we have the possibility of being sent home for work or school and back and forth, it's a fluid situation. Who knows what the next season of illness is gonna bring seriously. Uh, we could see the paramount need for broadband connectivity increase again. But where do we think we're going to be seeing the most initiative or the most push for the program and the funding for the broadband buildouts? It's going to be key areas like rural America. Uh, they're often underserved or not served in some cases with no options or providers or very limited, maybe one or two options if they're lucky. Quite often these places have like satellite as an option. Satellite providers notoriously known for limited amounts of data slow speeds, high pings, pretty much horrible experiences. And of course, weather could, you know, cause a lot of problems with services. So you can see why that's not really a good and stable option. With Elon Musk and, you know, Starlink, that's pretty awesome with SpaceX. But we still need options. You can't have one company serving the needs of a lot of customers. You need options. We need competition. And that's what I think the end game really is about. Don't get me wrong. Fiber is the end game. <laughs> I totally agree. But that's just not realistic. Companies don't see the return of investment, investing all this money into fiber 
and then not being able to capitalize it because they're not going to serve a lot of customers. You could see how fixed wireless access has its place. Okay, so not just rural America, but also suburban America, bringing more options to places that maybe only have one. I've seen that happen quite a bit, <clears throat> like me. That should be, be able to improve and give us more options and more reliable options. I think that's key, making options where the infrastructure is solid, new, uh, <laughs> you know, modern. Nobody wants to be stuck with satellite only. Nobody wants to be stuck with DSL only. Nobody wants to be stuck with crapola cable ISPs. So fixed wireless access has its place especially when it's only designed to serve those that still don't have the connectivity options or good choices. Oh, and by the way, it's not really just about home and residential. It's also commercial. We could see this application with like uh, business, industry, agency. It's not just about home. And people that get one service might get a second one. You know, it gives a lot of opportunities for a lot of these companies to kind of get in in multiple ways kind of enhancing the revenue stream. So y'all, I'm telling you guys and gals, seriously, fixed wireless is going to be a good option. I think Verizon and T-Mobile are just two examples of who's getting in. There will be other entrants too, but I think those have the most promise in scaling nationally, and they're both motivated to make money. As long as they hold up their end of the bargain and create a good option for people, and people like it, they will spend their money with them. And of course, the crapola options that people have in some of these places, they would gladly accept Verizon and T-Mobile as options. All right, so tell me what you think. Now that you've watched the whole video, comment down below your thoughts on fixed wireless access, specifically some of the options I discussed and the scenarios that are happening. But I'm telling you guys and gals, folks out there, if you are a doubter of fixed wireless, I don't think you should be. I think there is promise. The business seems to make sense too. What say you? Drop me a line down in the comment section below. You all are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Thank you for being here to watch. If you would like to do me a solid and like this video, you hit the like button, and then you share it to your socials, that helps a lot. That helps the channel get kind of happy inside the YouTube algorithm. Also, if it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the SMT YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification icon and select all so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Thank you all for being here to watch. I appreciate it very much. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Come back for another video or hang around and watch this next one. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.